To be honest, I thought I should make a video on how I made this cake. This will help beginners and I hope it inspires someone there. First, I like to do the preparation. Preparing my pans makes it so easy when I finish mixing up my batter. It will just be a matter of pouring in the batter in the icing. Part of my preparation is the buttermilk. So I use fresh milk and add a tablespoon of vinegar to a cup of milk, fresh cream milk. And then I kind of mix it and let it sit whilst I'm mixing my batter. So you may wonder why buttermilk. So buttermilk makes your cake very moist. No one likes a dry cake, hey? Okay? So I kind of tried to fast forward the steps, but as you can see, I'm adding the wet ingredients together. I will try to list the ingredients in the description below, or you can as well go to my website. That's where I usually post full ingredients. But um, as you can see, I'm just basically mixing all wet ingredients and yes sugar is a wet ingredient so now I'm kind of adding in the flour so usually you'd want to use a sieve so that all the lumps get broken up but um, my flour is quite um, okay so I didn't need a sieve but in your case if you have lumps in your flowers just make sure to use a sieve so that um, your flour can be well incorporated with your wet ingredients. You don't want to eat a cake with lumps or a bowl of flour in it. So adding the milk, the buttermilk makes uh, it easy when I'm mixing. There won't be a lot of flour flying around the house and anyway it's the perfect time to add your buttermilk um, in your butter. And yes, looking for this kind of consistency where it's a bit runny but not too runny remember this is cake these are not scones so this consistency is perfect for your cake and now the easy part is to add this into equal parts um, I try to use three inch uh, pans but um, you can use two inch pans it just depends with how you want to decorate your cakes later so Putting three layers makes it easy when I'm icing the cake and yeah but it's all up to you on how you want to you can use any pans actually you can use any sizes it doesn't matter banging it like this kind of let out um, air pockets so now from the oven and you see my cakes they have um, cracks in them it's okay sometimes you do get these things when you're baking so usually the oven will be too hot for the cakes and that's why it kind of like um, forms cracks is because the temperatures will be too high or you would have preheated your oven for a very long time which is in my case I kind of preheated it for more than five minutes so now I'm now taking off my uh, cakes sometimes you might need to use a spatula just to take off the sides because sometimes they do stick even if you've added um, some butter like you saw me do in the first place but yeah as you can see these they come out nice and the parchment paper really does help because it makes it easy to remove it from the pan it is kind of less sticky so this one I had to run my um, spatula around it again just to remove the uh, attached parts it is okay to do that um, you know there's no perfection when you're baking there so after this I kind of like to put my cakes in a cling wrap and put them in the fridge to cool it's easier to decorate them uh, when they're all chilled and I won't do the decoration in this video but I will post a video on how to decorate a cake or at least how I decorated this cake I will attach a card on this video so that it's easy for you to go straight to that video and please help my channel grow subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please hit the like button and make sure to drop a comment down there it will help a lot thanks for watching and please subscribe subscribe subscribe